<laughs> okay, Asdil, you know that you deal with, uh, you have dealt with uh, entertainments, uh, entertainers, uh, celebrities. Then you move on to something which I found was, wow, this is much more difficult actually, dealing with kids. Now that is really very tough, okay? Uh, I think this is Tom, uh, anak Tom, Tom Tomba, Tomba, right? And you had another uh, trademark uh, opening too, right? Uh, I can't remember what was it. Tomba. Uh, tom, oh, yes. tomba. Tom, tomba. It's the sound to, to the Queen song. We okay. will, we, we will, will rock you. Tom, tomba. Okay. Tom, 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 tomba. <laughs> was it difficult dealing with kids? Okay. I can. I love kids. Um, I just adore them. Mm. Um when when i watch uh uh what you call uh kids show on on uh, uh on stage I, I i just wish that i can put that show on tv i want the kids to come and play at that tom tom ba so called playground i said how how you know i just love to 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 uh, convert things that mm. something else into tv show so like just now melody i convert a, t- uh, a magazine and a newspaper tabloid into yeah. a, a tv program at the same time when i watch kids show on uh, on stage i said how i wish i can you know uh, create a tv show and it's very hard at first to convince astro convince the the the, the station because um, one um kids show is to sell. Um, has have failed before to yeah. garner ratings yeah. and also to attract sponsors to come yeah. in uh, so for a tv station these two are very important right. ratings yeah. and sponsors so mm-hmm. they said okay i said gi- i tr- trust in me i believe i am going to give a new um uh, dimension to kids show i want to, to i want to pro- portray uh, kids malaysian kids to be talkative uh, to be entertaining to be uh, creative in such a way so they said okay we give you eight episodes only uh, mm-hmm. to to produce and i produce it myself and i do the the the, the audition casting semua i buat and then I, we went around uh, Malaysia to find good kids. And then um, the, the, the hardest uh, segment is where we get the kids to speak their mind. Mm. It's memang sangat susah. It's so hard mm. to get kids brilliantly who could just, you know, uh, speak up. Who could, yeah, if, if uh, in out of 200, I would say there's only like one or two who could like a real, that was a real cha- challenge for, for me at that time. And then the reason why I, I, I persist on having that segment on TV because I said only with this segment, kids will learn how to mm. speak their mind. Now, mm. Kids will, will have at least a benchmark. Kids at least have a, a reference that's ah, and then the mother or the parents will say, ah, why don't you speak like that boy over there? Why don't you speak like that girl over there? You are so timid. Why are you so shy? You should be like that boy on, on TV. So yes. um on the second uh, second year of producing, I have no problem of, of finding kids who could speak their mind mm. anymore. At all. You, our Asian culture is such that uh, we are we do not encourage our kids to speak up in classes. Yes. The, you know, teachers do not like to be uh, point out they've made a mistakes, you know, yeah. they do not express our views. Yeah. So uh, you, you have really done a great thing with the program. And the result is that uh, we lost one with your foundation, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, persona. Okay, tell me it's more about all- that. It, it, it is all out of that the same frustration that though mm-hmm. um, okay I, I I don't in a way I, I look at myself um, how do I build that confidence in me how do I uh, craft that 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 uh, that that ability that talent to speak up so um, I don't come from a family that allow us also to speak our mind. I don't come in a family also who freely can air your views. No, my father would, would you know, uh, in a way, uh, ask you to speak only the when you're being asked. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beside that, if you want to do your uh, speaking, you do behind his back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In front of him, only when he asks you, you answer. If you don't answer well, then you cannot. <laughs> the famous word cannot. <laughs> Then you cannot. So it's in a way it's a frustration. I built all that confidence during my school days. I I took all the 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 opportunity to be on stage. I read uh, poem. I read saja, uh, shae, pantun. I whatever opportunity that I have in 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 uh, order to put me center stage, I would just grab. So. Uh, From there, I think it does uh, do good to me, uh, crafting the ability for me to speak my mind, to speak, and uh, not to feel uh, small um, every time when you are with somebody who could speak better than you. Okay, so when you can speak, you you are in front of somebody who could speak better than you, be it in English or be it in Malay. Yeah. So it's like a challenge for you. I want to become something, somebody better than that that person. Um, yeah. At one time, um, I I I formed this yayasan persona. It because of that frustration, I am in a panel of mm. uh, what do you call HR panel in Astro as well. At one time, okay. we interviewed. Uh, graduates from university, Dato. It's so sad, Dato. I'm sorry, what was that? Hello, my name is Elena Kurama. I was born with gills like fish. They can't even present themselves. Mm. Every time, every time. I said, simple question. Tell, tell me about yourself. So mm. they are stuck with name and hobbies. Oh, okay. So this is very frustrating, and I yes. said, "How are you going to represent our company when yes. you fail to represent yourself? Mm-hmm. Um, when when you are being asked, tell me about yourself. For them, it's only name and hobby. Oh, they didn't they didn't go any further than that. Mm-hmm. So, um, I I have this uh, you know, this ambition." I said I want to go to universities, and um, in a way, I go and tell them it's okay to speak up. If you don't know how to speak up, you learn how to speak. Yes. You get that 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 uh, confidence uh, from from your 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 peers. You get the confidence mm-hmm. from your lecturer. You get your confidence from yourself. So um, when I go to university, then I realize. That thing has not been cultured from school. Yes. Again, I could see. Yes, uh, it's it 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 is it, not the university's uh, fault. It's go back to secondary school. In yes. secondary school, I also found out that they also fail to even raise their hand to speak up. Yes, even But among reporters. I you know, go Daniel. again. I go back to the primary school. Then only I realize it all started there, and I approach Kementerian uh, Pendidikan (MOE) Ministry of Education. I said, at that time we were thinking of that transformasi national. Yeah, uh, that's the idea uh, by Barisan National Government before they mm. they being uh, mm. voted out. Um, mm. I said this should be in. We should mm. transform the kids. We should transform the kids to be uh, uh, what you call uh, 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 international quality, world quality. In that they can't even speak their mind. They 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 are so timid. They don't have ideas. They don't have opinion at all. So uh, I approached them, and uh, they said, "Okay, we we open the 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 door for you. Okay, you go from every school, one school to another, and just first find out how bad it is." Mm-hmm. So we yeah, some persona with my own money, that too, my uh, own money. Your own money. You no, 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 su- no sugar mummy. <laughs> Pardon? No sugar mummy. No sugar mommy, no sugar daddy, <laughs> no sugar whoever. Okay, you know what? And I no. use up all my KWSP saving. And then when with that, yeah, some person now the first thing that we have in mind is to teach the kids about self confidence. 
Yeah. Then goes to uh, speak your mind. Then goes into writing. Then goes into uh, what it call winning the stage, uh, uh, literally the stage and the, the international stage, the world uh, stage. Uh, uh, what it call um, is very hard. It's very hard for me to be alone. But I said I just want to go around the school first, around Malaysia school, just to find out how bad it is. Yeah. People say. Uh, uh, urban, no problem. Only yeah. the rural areas, not exactly. Yes. It's all just the same. Private school, I wouldn't touch because I didn't go to private school. But private school, I assume they are much better in terms of their confidence and their yeah. uh, public speaking and uh, uh, very opinionated. Um, if uh, government school, that is my worry. I, mm. How I wish I can clone myself to many like <laughs> Professor Clone did so that I can be, uh, I can move much faster and mm. I can, I can uh, craft more kids uh, who could speak their mind at least, who, who, who could have that confidence. When I go back to the ministry, when you say, said, okay, on the scale of one to 10, where does our kids stand? I said, zero. Yes. What do you mean zero? I said zero. My scale one to ten. It all started number one to raise your hand. Yes. Before you could even speak. Yeah. You have to raise your hand, and you ask question. They don't even want to raise their hand. So how can I put them as in scale one? And yes. that happens among reporters also sometimes. That though sure, yes. I will agree. You will agree. Always the same uh, same organization asking the question. You say ada soalan. Nobody puts put, put on the hand or the same guys. Mm. And then after the press conference, after the meeting, everybody asks you the same thing all over again, crowd around you. It's not about get, uh, having <laughs> yeah. that scope, that though. It's because yeah. of their confidence. They don't yeah. want to be they don't want uh, to be the the, the 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 person that people laugh at. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, they don't want to be seen like, oh, you ask you are asking a wrong question, mm -hmm. or you're asking a stupid question. Yeah. Things like that. So yeah. people like you, people like me, when we go to the press conference, we are like are having that 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 responsibility to us because we are oh, they oh, 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 look at us like a stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> so we we you and me, I get to know you because you are one of those who will always raise your hand. So I said, wow. <laughs> so I know you from there. I know who else who, who would usually would raise hand. Uh, Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, timers. Yeah, and many of them just just want to to they 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 they, they what do you call it? they legalize their yeah, their silence by saying that. Oh, we want to have a scoop question. We want mm. to have one to one interview, <laughs> exclusive interview. Face uh, the fact. Face yeah, the fact yeah, yeah. they just don't dare to raise their hand and to uh, get their voice uh, listened. Okay, Aslan, I got this uh, question. Uh, I mean, moving from entertainment, you know, to uh, I would call it uh, entertainment magazine and hosting program. Suddenly, I noticed that you have done something that's really entirely different. Suddenly, I saw you driving around to many um, areas. You know, you're acting like Ustaz uh, Ibit Liu, okay? <laughs> Coming up from the car, except your dressing is, of course, completely different. Di Langkawi, Pak Nih juga sempat singgah di rumah usang ini didiami oleh seorang wanita yang mengandung tetapi terjebak dengan dadah. Ini anak yang keberapa? Lima. Yang kelima? Yang nombor satu, dua, tiga, empat? Hmm, duduk dengan mak. Suami mana? Suami duduk dalam. Pusat ke penjara? Penjara kot. Dia masuk penjara sebab dadah? Hmm. Terlibat bila? Dua tahun lepas. Ambil apa? Ais. Ais? And then you're going to these really depressive areas, okay? You're asking a former drug addicts, you know, who have whose houses looks like a really a rubbish dump. And then you have people, uh, what do you call it, that who have given up drugs, but most of them seems to be people who have been sucked into this uh, drug issue. How did that uh, project came about? Okay, um, it all started when there's this boy who have lost their parents, uh, both mom and dad. Dah meninggal. So he contacted me. I think he looked at me as a father figure. I said, okay. can I have 
at least a, a, a moment like five to ten minutes with you. I just want to, you know, to 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 have somebody to listen to my story. And then he he giving me his uh what do you call uh drugs uh, story. He's mm. uh, one of the drug addicts. He he fell into a uh, wrong. Uh, f- uh, friend and um, uh, totally a uh, very uh, sad story. So I said, well, if I can listen to you, uh, then I said, um, you have to give me the, the 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 moment for me to record it because mm-hmm. I want it to be to be to make it as a content so that mm-hmm. other people could learn from it. But yes, I yes. will blur up your 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 yes. face. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to sh- yeah. show your your face at all. Just your voice. And then he said yes. he wouldn't mind. And mm-hmm. then when I spoke to him, I said he is only 19, 18 years old. So how many of you are involved with drugs? I, I was always thinking those who involved with drugs are like 20 plus, those who already know where uh, the entertainment uh, outlet, where they go for, 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 for fun, uh, for a weekend, and they take eyes there just to enjoy themselves. And then after that, go back to work. And then I didn't know they become addicted over that field. And then... When I spoke to him, he is still just finished school and he started from a very young age, like from 15 years old. I said, that bad, 15 years old. Then I started to speak to, uh, what do you call AADK, Agency anti Dada Kebangsaan. I, 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 I spoke to them and then they said, Patnil, we have a case of a 12 years old boy. Oh who already... Yes. Oof. I can't believe my ears. I said, that bad, yes, that bad. And the 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 worst, some of them also involved in uh, selling the drugs. Mm-hmm. That young. They sell the drugs because they said uh Senang police that can tell that you are selling drugs because you're just kids. So uh so you're quite invisible there. So mm-hmm. that's why um, I, I wanted to, to work with AADK. I said, mm-hmm. if I could expose all this story on my Instagram, at least mm-hmm. on my Instagram and at least on my Facebook to mm-hmm. tell the people, because I know I have 2 million, uh, what do you call, followers on both my Instagram and my, my Facebook. So mm-hmm. at least I get to open their eyes. We mm-hmm. are in this condition. I Because... I didn't know until I am being being consulted, so called, by this boy. Then only I realized when I go to that, uh, what do you call the rehabilitation center, there's a lot of young kids there at all. Mm. Oh, it's, 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 a, it's amazing. It's an amazing uh, a series that you have uh, produced. Okay, uh, let's get, come to the final part of this uh, talk show. Okay, now, um, we are going through a very tough uh, period. Uh, professionally for you, I'm sure that uh, the number of shows will have, will have been affected, you know. Uh, no, no, no business have not been affected by COVID-19. Okay, now, um, I just want to ask you that, uh, what is your advice to, your, to the followers out there the old people, the young people who are watching this, what is advice to them as we enter into a very critical stage of this COVID-19 in Malaysia? I have two advice. One is not an advice. One, I would want to say sorry to them because we are the elderly one here. And if things like this happen, like you, Dato, like me and all other uh, senior so-called citizens, we are supposed to be the one who's guiding them. Take their hand and guide them through the difficulties. But we are so sorry. We have never faced this problem before. Yes. And this problem came at our old age. And this problem came as we are not prepared for anything at all. And we don't know. We are in the dark as well. So how can we guide you? How can we take your hand? All we can do is say, believe in God and trust yourself. And we are in a position that we cannot answer many of the questions. When is this thing going to end? 
Is this thing dangerous to health? Is this thing uh, will will uh, make you die? It, will this thing uh, will separate us, the family? I, we don't just don't have the answer. Yes. Being an elderly person, I think this is a shame. We are in a position where we cannot give you any guidance. Unlike when we are young, our parents will always have the guidance, will always have the answer to our uh, question, to our uncertainty. When we ask our parents last time, they say, oh, you should do this. We have plan A, we have plan B, we have plan C. Okay? So my dad will hold our hands in a way, guide us so that we won't fall into uh, something that um, not good. But when this thing comes, we are all on our own. Yes. And I feel useless being, being such a, a, a person who have lived for 59, 60 years old. And I don't have any answer to that. I so, guess that um, simple thing will be to uh, practice the SOP, wear your mask, stay safe, and uh, just uh, that. take your stuff. Yep. That's the most Simple effective that. Just, Even yeah. if you wear that, even mm. if you, you follow the SOP, they will come up with, with, with a question yeah. that I don't think you can answer. For yes. how long? Yes, correct. For how uh, long are we going to wear this? Yeah. Until we're and all I vaccinated. Have, mm, I have a grandnephew. I have a grandniece who was given birth mm. this year. Mm -hmm. They couldn't see our oh. face in full. Mm -hmm. They couldn't see the color of the world yeah, in full. Yeah, it's yeah. all been covered mm. and all indoors. They are kept indoors. Yeah. I don't know. It's a sad thing. Yes. Uh, I, I just feel that. Um, I just hope that, you know, if this thing can finish uh, and yes. ends together uh, in, in, in a faster way, at least we have an answer. Uh, if a new generation comes in in the next few years, we can guide them. But until now, I couldn't find a light saying that you will be the wise one to guide yes. us. Even the government also don't have the answer to all the questions that the, the people are asking. And two, I would say it's not the same anymore. Anna, Anna, it's not the same anymore. The, the, the world is changing differently, rapidly. So it's time for you to find a new uh, skill. I, I wouldn't know what skill because the, the skill that you, you, you have um, last year, Basti already. You cannot pakai already. It's uh, obsolete. Yeah. yeah, because of Good. the pandemic. You cannot use your, your skill yeah. anymore. You, you, you are a good singer. Can you perform? No, you can't yeah. perform anymore. You are an entertainer. Entertainer, you need an audience. You don't yeah. have audience anymore. Yeah. You, you, you are an engineer. Most of the buildings are not being built as before. It was so different. So get a new skill in whatever you, you are good at now. Find a new skill or invent a new thing so that you can lead your profession. So I find YouTube at least to perform. Yeah. I find uh, uh, what you call Zoom for me yeah. to be, to be, uh, to have uh, my, uh, to be on a talk show. Yes. That, that's how, how I, I could see my career or my, my, my uh, job. To reinvent uh, ourselves. Be, yeah, it, it's, it's heading. So, yeah. I don't know. You're a doctor. You're an engineer. You're a, a, a lecturer. The, the conventional way is not valid anymore. It's find gone. a new skill. Gone. Yes. Find a new skill. Find a new way. Or in the best thing, invent a new thing. Invent a new way so we can be a leader. If we invent, suddenly it takes the world. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Nasnil, thank you so much for spending so much thank time with so us. Thank you so much. I, it's good to see you remaining the Peter Pan of Malaysia. Still looking sharp, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, Atul. Thank you so much. Okay. And uh, 
stay safe. Uh, stay indoor. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, yes. You can put also the the barang-barang. I believe just now the groceries. <laughs> Okay, in that this talk show because I am so sorry. I am never late for any appointment. I thought I could reach home by two, but I am so sorry because there's so many people at the supermarket, at the hypermarket. All everybody are into uh, what you call. Uh, they are all panic as well. So they do a lot of panic buying as well. I'm going to call you if I run out of food. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Please like, follow, and share. Us new Nawawi and Real Chunwai on social media. We catch up again. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much.